Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do two things. Uh, the first thing is how to make your character run in um, RPG Maker. So this is real quick. The first thing, just go to common events. As you can see here I already have mine set up. Run a conditional branch. If button A is being pressed, which is actually button Z on the keyboard, I don't know why it's different but it just is, then you want to move uh, the player out, change speed to 5, then wait 15 frames and then set it back to 4 and then wait 40 frames. Okay now you can make this 6 but that's a little too fast so let me show you exactly what's going on here. Once it's changed to 5 after 15 frames it's gonna change back to 4 which is the normal speed and then the cooldown time is 40 frames. So uh you can change 15 and 40 and 5 but keep 4 uh, keep that 4 because that's the normal speed else is going to be 4 because if you're not holding down A then you're just uh, change speed to normal apply okay now in the map preferably when you start out run a parallel process that controls the switch switch run is on so go back to here alright so um, in the run common event it's a parallel trigger triggered by run so that way when this parallel process activates run then the common event kicks in and your player will be able to run by holding down Z Alright, that's it for the running tutorial. Now I'm going to show you um, how to customize your own tile sets. Um, this is in Photoshop, which is the best way to do it by far. Because what you can do is, once you load it up, you can see that it's transparent, the background is. But what makes this the best is you can go to View, Show, Grid. Then you gotta edit this. Show or where is it? New guide. So in your guide options right here, <coughs> you can also pull up preferences. Change uh, guideline every to thirty two. And now the guide is split up the same way it would be split up in um, RPG Maker. So if I want to edit something, like uh, if I want to add something to this set, I'll just bring up my uh, other tile set. I'll use this as an example. Just come down here, and as you can see, what you'll do is just bring it down to here, just drag it along the grid. It should snap to the grid. If it doesn't, go to view and then snap, snap to guides grid. Copy that, control C, go over here. Let's find a spot for it. I've already deleted some uh, tiles down here. Somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Just a minute. Control V. Let that go. There it is. Alright, just to show you exactly what to do, this isn't going to be neat, but take it out anyway. You just snap it and then use the arrow keys to perfect it. And since this has a background, I'm going to go to the magic wand, change my tolerance to zero, just click in it, hit delete. And now I have a tree in here. I can erase this. Go to layer 
layer is zero. I can just drag it over since that's a new layer. It won't affect that. Let me take that out one minute. Delete this. Delete that. Okay, now go to file, save it. Save it as a PNG and save over. You don't have to, but it's better to save over the back in RPG Maker. We're going to go to database, tile sets. We'll pull up my normal we'll just edit. Go down to where my tree was. Right here. And then you just want to change your. Uh, Priorities, remember one star, two stars, actually one star, two, then three. Four direction pass, we'll do this. Yeah, apply, okay. And now, we have it right here, ready to use. And since we did use the guides, then it is it is um, on the guides right so I can just put it in so that was a tutorial on how to run and how to customize your tile sets in Photoshop thank you